everybody, Chris Steele here at Steel Frags, and tonight we're going to be reviewing Alaha Remains La Aventura Night. So, this is a very underrated fragrance. Um, in fact, I don't, I had, even when it first came out, I didn't hear much about it. Um, it is, let's get this out the way first, okay? So it is a green, Creed Green Irish Tweed clone. And when we think Creed Green Irish Tweed clones, everybody always thinks of Trey Nui from Armoth. But this bad boy here, in this box, I have probably... The closest to the the DNA you're going to get as far as authentic Creed Green Irish Tweed. This, however, does have some differences. So let's get into the notes first. So in the top we have lemon verbena, bergamot, tea, and in the middle we have violet and iris. In the base, we have powdery notes, ambergris, musk, and sandalwood. So this thing really surprised me. Um, it has a uh, a very fresh. If you do get the classic Creed Green Irish Tweed, uh, you get the the green the greenery. Um, you get that lemon verbena. Um, this one to me has sl a slight dirty lemon verbena to it. It's like a, a, a little more earthy than like a Trey Nui style Creed Green Irish Tweed. This one has a lot of earthy characteristics, but at the same time it has that freshness that you get from the iris, powdery notes, and ambergris. It adds that adds some freshness to it. And at the same time, you know, you have musk and sandalwood that gives it a little bit of smoothness. But this one is actually pretty sharp. It has a very distinct, um, and when I say earthy, I don't necessarily mean dirt or dirty or anything like that. I mean, earthy, like green, mossy, um, fresh rain, fresh dew, freshly cut grass, that kind of smell. But this thing smells amazing. And the performance is, is is just out of this world. So let me get this on skin real quick so we can experience it in real time. Man, that left wrist is a soldier. Every video, it always goes on this one. I do have some of it on. I, I got out the shower and I sprayed some on. But I want to experience the opening again. So in the opening... Oh, man. So in the opening... You get very, 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 very strong lemon verbena. I would say this one, if you're more into that Trey Nui type of Creed Green Irish Tweed DNA, this might not be for you because it has that very strong, earthy um, lemon verbena in it. And it's a weird smell. Um, if you get up close to it like this and you smell it, it does have, I have heard it described as this before, and I can confirm that it kind of has that vibe. It has a urinal cake vibe to it. If you've ever been in a bar or nightclub and you go to use the bathroom, or if you're in a restaurant and you go and use the bathroom, you know, the little pink, uh, pink soap things they have in the urinals, it kind of has that vibe because the lemon verbena is so strong that it has a, a um a uh, astringent uh soap kind of quality to it but but fear not because you're not when people smell your fragrance they're not going to just push their face into your chest or or start nibbling on your ear and smelling your neck i mean unless it's that kind of night but you know what i'm saying most people, when they smell your fragrances, they're going to smell it at a distance. They're going to smell it a few feet away. Luckily, this thing has such good pro projection that nobody even, you don't really even have to get that close to smell it. 
So let's get into performance a little bit. Okay, so we got the green Irish tweed DNA, but what sets it apart is I believe it performs far better. You get about a good two, three hours of projection, easily eight to 10 hours of longevity, especially if you spray it on your clothes. You spray it on your clothes, it's not coming out until you wash it. Demon siage, just crazy siage. Like people, people can, uh, people will be able to find out where you live. Okay, people will be able to find out where you live. The siage is that good. They have to just follow the scent trail. It's amazing siage. Um, now I do know that, like I said, that lemon verbena, that strong lemon verbena kind of. Uh, note that's in there that kind of dominates um that may like i said that may be off-putting to some people but it helps with the projection and it helps with the performance um it is a little more synthetic than creed green irish tweed but i feel that it comes very very close to the classic dna train we is a little smoother but then again train we's performance is not nearly as good as this not even in the same you could say not in the same ballpark. I'd say probably not even in the same league. So um, what else we got on here? Oh, uh, yeah, there's some there is some ambergris that I smell. The musk and the sandalwood are far into the dry down. And it's not a strong sandalwood or musk. It's just um, the musk kind of gives it everything else a little bit of body. And the sandalwood calms that calms that lemon verbena down that you get in the opening everything calms down and then you get straight up green irish tweed goodness you get that dna after it's dried down it really starts to smell like it and it smells great so situations occasions um you could definitely dress this one up um you could go casual with it but you gotta kind of be uh uh, like you gotta kind of be like a um. It, you you gotta kind of have a, a certain swag about you to go casual with this. You can't be a goofball or like be really silly like me. I'm kind of a goofball. I'm kind of silly a lot of times. I do get serious sometimes, but I'm very goofy. And so um, I would rock this, but I would rock this in certain occasions. I'm trying to make sense here while I'm trying to explain what the fuck or what I'm trying to say um I guess what I'm trying to say is you have to this is a little more on the classy side it's a little more on the serious side a little more formal um but it can be pulled off in a casual setting business casual type of thing uh day day uh if you're gonna be going out somewhere out out and about uh different things like that. I don't know about office friendly. I don't know how, how some people would react just because like I said, there's that it's very loud. So it's not that it, it has an obnoxious smell or anything like that. It's just that it's very loud. Move my camera back a little bit. It's just, it's very, very loud. Um, and it might, it might become cloying to some people on, in an indoor environment like that, but anywhere outside you're great. You're fine. Um, also, let me see. I, 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 I see myself wearing this on a day where I just want to be, where I just want to be cool. I don't want to be doing too much. I just want to go hang out or whatever. This is one of those types of fragrance. Pretty much any scenario you, you would wear green Irish tweed, you will wear La Venture night in that situation um uh as far as date night nah nah not a date night like i said earlier that lemon verbena i mean unless your chick is into like urinal cakes or something like that she's she's not going to appreciate that so just be careful with this one this one is a, a lot more serious um He's a serious guy. He doesn't like to be played around with too much. Um, 
but as far like I said, as far as day night, no, I would not wear this on a day night. There's far too many other fragrances that I could pick on a date night than La Venture Night. But anything else as far as uh, meet, meetings or friends hanging out or going to the grocery store, casual things like that, yeah, I'd definitely wear it. It's, it smells good. It has a, it's a weird kind of mix of a clean and dirty type of uh, dynamic you have because, the limb, like I said, the limb of Urbana is, is it's kind of earthy and very, very intense. But then everything else makes it smell kind of clean, almost like soapy or like uh, astringent. So it has almost like a cleaner kind of smell. But I mean, if you're into the, that green, that green Irish tweed DNA for about, I don't know, I don't remember what I paid for. I think I paid $36 for about $36. You be, this will get you in the ballpark. This will get you in that league. You will be in the league of Green, green Irish tweet smells amazing. So, um, that's all I got for you tonight. I'm, I'm thinking about uh, put it down in the comments if you're interested. But I'm really considering doing some new type of videos where um, we do layer like layer reviews. So instead of just this, uh, instead of just reviewing one fragrance, um, I would like to share my experience and share some different layering combinations with fragrances. Cause I do like layering fragrances and oils. Um, so then I could give you guys some of my secret recipes to some really, really nice layering combinations. So if you're interested in that, leave a comment down below. Um, I just want to again, say thank you guys for subscribing new subscribers. Thank you for becoming a part of the family and helping the channel grow. I really do appreciate it. Um, I try to pump out content. Uh, I, I haven't been pumping out as much lately, but then again, I kind of want my my viewership to grow into the videos. Um, and for my returning subscribers, thank you guys for uh, you know sticking with me, watching the videos, leaving comments, leaving reactions. It really does help. Um, once we get this thing rolling, though, I do plan on doing a lot more. Uh, so, you know, just stay tuned for some new cool content. And um, just I like to say cheers and you guys stay blessed till next one. Peace.